Welcome to Antimatters. Hi all, a new series starting today. This will be episode 1 for the Fadole Yinsis. I got these girls on September the 30th with one queen and 15 to 30 workers from Wakushi. So I've had them 3 months nearly now and they seem to be steadily growing. It's taken me a couple of months to dial in the conditions to what they like. I'd like to share temperature and humidity numbers with you but with their nest, you have to judge it by eye. Their small nest is a DIY plaster setup I call Cherry Hill. It's got a two tier outworld on the front and a moderate sized nest area tucked around the back. You might be thinking, why didn't I introduce them sooner? Well, at these numbers, they're very chilled. When food arises, they'll run out of the nest and quickly drag it in as fast as they can and the rest of the time, they hide. They're steadily getting braver though, and bolder every day, as their numbers increase. The majority of the action happens around the back, so let's take a look. There's ample space within, perhaps too much, but they're maintaining it all very well. The workers are about four millimeters, I'd say, with the majors at least eight millimeters. The queen is around 10 millimetres, I think. Once they drag their food inside, they begin processing it by chopping it down into bite-sized pieces. They have exquisite jaws and are really impressive up close. Once they have their small chunks, they take it to the brood chamber. This fat little larvae has a reasonable portion. I never expected to see this, but I've been figuring out how to push the macro to the max. I just started working out how, so expect some improvement in future. The colony has plenty of these fat little larvae and plenty of pupae too. Not sure about eggs as I haven't spotted them, but I have faith they're in there somewhere. My plan for these ants is to possibly move them into a nest Wakushi is releasing in the future, hopefully arriving in January. Their numbers can shoot up in the right conditions, and as my numbers begin swelling, I can't help but hope I've got the conditions maybe a little bit right, or at least closer to right. Time will tell. I'm going to up their protein intake as they've been getting very voracious with their food. It normally means they're extra hungry. Hopefully they will continue to grow over the next few months. I'll be sure to keep you updated on their journey and share any information I find about these girls. When I have more footage and knowledge, I'd like to do a full care guide as there is limited information about for these girls. Anyway, I'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Bye.